Some say success is a journey, not a destination. But the journey can be really hard if you're stuck in a ditch with no gas in the car. That ditch, metaphorically speaking, is often made up of our own bad habits. And, for many of us, those habits start as soon as we hit the snooze button in the morning. Understanding what not to do can be just as informative as knowing what to do. That's why I've compiled a list of nine morning habits often seen in people who struggle to make progress in life. This isn't meant to shame or judge anyone. Rather, it's an opportunity to reflect on our own routines and see if we might be holding ourselves back without even realizing it. Let's dive in. Everyone loves a few extra minutes of sleep in the morning, but those who struggle to move forward in life often let those few minutes turn into an hour or more. The snooze button might seem like a friend, but it's actually a major progress killer. Why? Because it starts your day off on a note of procrastination, of pushing back what needs to be done, and that habit can easily spill over into the rest of your day. Successful people know that when the alarm goes off, it's time to get up and start the day. There are no negotiations, no delays, it's go time. If you want to break free from stagnation, start by breaking free from the snooze button. You might be surprised at how much more you can accomplish when you start your day on time. I've learned the hard way that skipping breakfast is a one-way ticket to a sluggish, unproductive day. In my early 20s, I thought I was saving time by skipping breakfast and heading straight to work. But what I saved in time, I lost in energy and focus. By mid-morning, I'd be struggling to keep my eyes open, let alone get any meaningful work done. Breakfast is often called the most important meal of the day, and for good reason. It kickstarts your metabolism and provides the fuel your body needs to start the day off right. Unsuccessful people often skip this critical meal, either because they're rushing or don't see its value. But if you want to move forward in life, it's essential to give your body the nourishment it needs first thing in the morning. Trust me, your productivity will thank you for it. Morning is a prime time for getting in some physical activity. Yet, those who find themselves stuck in life often undervalue this crucial start of the day habit. Physical activity, even something as simple as a quick walk around the block or a few stretches, gets your blood pumping and your endorphins flowing. These feel-good chemicals aren't just great for your mood, they also enhance your brain's function and creativity. A study published in the International Journal of Behavioral Nutrition and Physical Activity found that 20 minutes of low to moderate exercise can lead to significant improvements in cognitive functions such as processing speed and visual memory. Think about that next time and tempted to skip your morning workout for an extra few minutes in bed. Ever found yourself aimlessly scrolling through social media or checking emails first thing in the morning? You're not alone. Many people who struggle to make progress in life fall into this trap. Starting your day without a clear plan is like setting out on a journey without a map. You might eventually reach your destination, but you'll likely waste a lot of time and energy along the way. Successful people understand the value of a well-crafted morning routine. They plan their mornings deliberately, with activities that set the tone for a productive, fulfilling day. Whether it's reading, meditating, or jotting down their top priorities for the day, they use their morning hours wisely. If you're serious about moving forward in life, consider creating a morning routine that sets you up for success. You'd be surprised how many people start their day without investing any time in self-improvement. This could be reading a book, listening to a podcast, or even learning a new language. Unsuccessful people often dive straight into their day without dedicating any time for personal growth. They miss out on the opportunity to learn something new, gain a fresh perspective, or acquire a new skill. Personal growth isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. If you want to move forward in life, you need to commit to continuous learning. In the rush of our morning routines, it's easy to overlook the simple act of expressing gratitude. 
but those few moments of reflection can have a profound impact on our outlook and attitude. People who struggle to progress often focus on what's wrong in their life, rather than appreciating what's right. This negative mindset can create a cycle of discontent and stagnation. Taking a few minutes each morning to acknowledge what you're grateful for can shift your focus from lack to abundance. It's a gentle reminder that no matter the challenges you face, there are always blessings to be found. So before you rush off into your day, take a moment to express gratitude. It could be for your health, your family, or even the simple joy of a new day. This habit won't just enrich your mornings, it will enrich your life. I used to be the master of procrastination, especially when it came to tackling difficult tasks. I'd find every excuse to put them off, telling myself I'd get to them later. But later often turned into never. Unsuccessful individuals often fall into this trap. They spend their mornings on easy tasks while pushing the challenging ones aside. The problem, those difficult tasks are usually the ones that drive real progress and growth. Experts often recommend tackling your most challenging task first thing in the morning, when your energy and focus are at their peak. This approach not only boosts your productivity, but also gives you a sense of accomplishment that can fuel the rest of your day. If you're like me and have a habit of avoiding complex tasks, try flipping the script. It might feel uncomfortable at first, but over time, you'll likely find it's a game changer. How you start your morning often sets the tone for the rest of the day. If you begin your day reacting to external demands or crises, you're likely to feel stressed and overwhelmed. Unsuccessful people often fall into the trap of living reactively. They let their circumstances dictate their actions, rather than proactively setting their own agenda. Starting your day proactively involves identifying your priorities and taking deliberate actions towards them. It means focusing on what you can control and letting go of what you can't, instead of letting your inbox, social media notifications or other people's demands dictate your morning. Try taking control of your schedule. Decide what your priorities are and act on them first thing. This proactive approach can help you make significant strides towards your goals. Your physical, mental and emotional well-being is the foundation of your success. Yet, many people who struggle to move forward often overlook the importance of self-care. Starting your day with some form of self-care, be it meditation, exercise or simply enjoying a cup of tea in silence, can make a world of difference. Self-care isn't selfish or indulgent. It's about treating yourself with the same kindness and respect you'd show others. You can't pour from an empty cup. Take care of yourself first, and you'll be better equipped to handle whatever the day throws at you. The key to breaking free from habits that hold us back is understanding that every morning we have a choice. Each sunrise brings with it a fresh start, a clean slate, and the opportunity to do things differently. But it's up to us to seize that opportunity. Our morning routines aren't just a series of tasks to tick off. They're a blueprint for the day ahead, a reflection of our priorities, and an indication of our commitment to personal growth. Progress isn't about perfection, but about making better choices, consistently. And sometimes, that starts with the simple decision to get up when the alarm rings, to eat a healthy breakfast, or to dedicate a few minutes to self-care. The only person who has the power to change your life is you. And that change can start tomorrow morning.